Council meeting to order on December 31st. It is uh, 903 a.m. Um, let's see. Um, community input. Any community input? Oh, we don't have a, um, an, agenda? an agenda. I have an agenda. We're looking at it. Let me, uh, let's get one from Carolina. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. She just forgot to deliver them. Oh, that's awesome. So by the time Sunday came, it was a project in the world. Across the field. So is there any community input? All right. Uh, the two of us can go ahead and do the minutes, unless you have a question about them. Nope. December 19th. Okay. Excellent. Um, here are the agendas. Thank you. Thank you. Um, um, I don't know if you can see there's anything here that we can do without the mic. He didn't say how long he'd be, right? Yeah. Um, he, he might have said that he was stuck in the coffee line. So I give him 10 minutes. <laughs> do you want an agenda, the, uh, Ms. Tamron? We can't. Jeff needs a spot to put the snow. Yeah, that's well, the corner that the snow gets. You know, in. Jody, I'm I'm very happy to just delegate this, authorize you to manage this okay. any way you see fit. Okay. If you think something needs to, you know, you want to confer with the board as a board, feel yeah. free. But just, you know, just putting it out to it now. But how short do we want this window to be? I would say, you know, use your judgment. Our next that's, meeting is. Well, we need till the ninth, right? So we can, I can put it out now and we'll just close it up. Yeah, do we think we're going to get that a bit? We, we hold? Yeah, okay. We always hold. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have any, we don't have any. Then we can go back to the yeah. Okay, we're excellent. Thank you. But can it wait till the, can it wait till the ninth? But it we well, have to because we have to approve the, we have, we have to, to approve the bid. We have to approve the bid, yes. But as, as far, far as, as moving, the yeah, unless you want to think about so oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, I'll just start to confer with Duchamp and St. Jean and see what. It might be, you might be able to jump the battery long enough to move it. Yeah. We'll see. I'll uh, ask them what they want to do. I thought I saw him. Mm-hmm. Anthony Wayway. Uh, all right, there's, there's nothing in the building inspection code enforcement that I'm aware of. Health inspector, fire, transfer station. All right, we'll talk about the stickers and the deadline for that. Started the meeting, we did minutes and community input and that sort of stuff. But we're we're now at something that you know we should at least have a discussion on, and that is the transfer station stickers and when when should they be required? And I guess it was for me, I was surprised with this question. Why don't we just start in January? I mean, why why do we even have this period? But I'll let the two of you weigh in on this. I'm confused. Aren't they not going to affect January first? They are going to affect January first. They have a grace period of a month last year. Okay. And Jeff was like, when do you want us to enforce the sticker rule? Because they can't buy the sticker at the transfer station anymore. All right. Okay. They have a lot. Don't we start selling them in 
December or November? Yeah. So they have a month or two to buy them? Yeah. That's, I don't understand why we need it. I don't either. We but have it, a month's grace period. Exactly. I, I'm absolutely on your side. But if, if that's been our practice. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not, yeah. I'm not suggesting that's my position. I'm just asking. I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, they're effective January 1, and we give them, you know, window, we give people a window to buy them. So if they're used to having a grace period, we yeah. can do it this year. But next year, I'd like to put out, you know, uh, an email that says, hey, not, you know, or put out advertising that says, you need your transfer station stickers on January 1. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah, right? I mean, when my motor vehicle expires, it expires. Yeah, grace period. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when the chief pulls me over tomorrow, there will be no grace period. That's, that's correct. <laughs> so better get it, whatever, inspect it and register it or whatever it needs. All right, so we'll we'll tell him February 1. Is that, do I have that correct for this year? So, yep. But next year we'll, we'll see about um, making sure that they become effective on the rest yep. of the year. All right. Um, the, Demolition fees. I don't know where we are with this. Did did we delegate this to one of us to think about or ponder or make a recommendation? I, don't well, I thought we were going to have a public hearing because we wanted to go over it and then found out that the numbers were in line with other towns anyway and they weren't um, charging the minimum still. So we asked them to enforce that minimum $5 for when throwing it away. Okay. So. What about the Freon? That was the thing that started all this, $5 increase for Freon? Yes. Should we do that? And that would be the only thing? Just to cover our costs, right? Just to cover our costs. Would one of you like, to, well, here's what we need to do if we want to do this. We need to, uh, Schedule a public hearing with the with the change. Yep. You know, here's the, the, the amendment to the transfer station fees. Yep. And then um, that's it. So do we want to do that in the middle of budget season? No. no. Yeah. I mean, I'm really I'm busy. That's why I mean, if yeah, if one of you thinks you have the time to do it, we can try it. Um, if we want to postpone it to like. And it's not much of a, I mean, how much of a draft is it just a $5 increase? That's not going to be the only change, right? Right. So we can schedule, do we have anything? Are you going to create the public hearing notice and the draft and, and that sort of thing? Is that, is that what you're going to be volunteering to do? So the 9th? The 16th of the 9th? Well, the, uh, the 16th? Well, not the 9th. The, the 9th is my day, day, day is coming. So. Okay, 30 or 60. Fine. Okay. So we could probably do it at 615. I don't imagine if it's one item that is going up. Is it? So under police, uh, Chief Ducharme's not here, but he called me uh, for the holidays, and I emailed the board, and our officer did not get into the academy. There's a, at first I thought there was some performance issue. It's not, it's a wait, it's a, it's a wait list. It's a wait list. Yeah. Yeah, they already had uh, the number of uh, recruits, and they just go by chronology as long as they pass their physical, mm -hmm. whatever. So he passed his physical, but he, uh, was waitlisted, so he will go in May. Yeah. And so Chief Ducharme's plan is to start doing his field work now. So he will he will be he is an officer as of whenever we hired him. He'll be doing field work, his field work training. Yeah. Go to the academy in May, and then when he's back, he'll do you know a couple of weeks of field training just to get readjusted. But he'll be on his own much sooner than. Uh, most people who come back from the academy, because usually the academy comes first in the field work. Yes, correct. Okay, um, budget. Does Caroline have to pee?
is our operating expense appropriation. Uh, the expenses that you see there were as of 12 to 23. All right. And then, then I added in these expenses that were not the 3,000, only to reconcile with the, re the download that I got from Carol. I didn't bother to make sure all the, I had everything lined up. It was just a $3,000 difference. 11,450 for the demo cams, which did not get paid, but the invoice is in. Uh, the $15,000 payroll that just happened this week, uh, $4,000 in associated payroll taxes and paychecks expenses, the $20,000 for our membrane roof that we uh, put out, $2,000 for salt, uh, $6,000 for the height PO that we're carrying, that we're carrying forward, it will be uh, payables, $472 for uh, civil works. This is, I mean, it's a uh, Pass through in the sense that we get reimbursed in this, it's from planning, but still it's an expense in our part. Not sure about town hall, town hall mold. Uh, about we had a $500 PO for camera drain piping. Uh, I asked Carolyn to look for other POs. I think she's still in the process of doing that. However, with all of those items um, factored in, that's the amount of expenses, $1,475,000, leaving us with a BBA, budget balance available, sorry, of about $145,000. Okay. So the uh, roof contract from Murphy is for twenty, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. the, the shingle, the shingle. Right, I think we should the steeple. write the purchase order for a little higher because it said, if weather permitting, like happened today, they would have to hire the crane for yeah. longer. Yep. And they have to higher and we get through. Yeah, would you say an, an additional five thousand? I don't know either. I know it's it's so high and I don't know what the weather's gonna yeah. be giving us. I know they're really quick about their roofing. I've only seen everything done in this room. <laughs> so I know once they start they get it done in a day. But so if you do up to five, up, an additional five thousand just gonna go back into the uh, we don't have to spend it. Right. Yeah, no, right. Right. So, so, so that's yeah. yeah. So we'll do we'll do it for twenty five thousand, and we'll still be returning over a hundred thousand to fund balance, which is nice. And it's probably more because I think we have more revenue. We will have had to collect more revenue through twenty sixteen than we even anticipated in October. Yeah. But we'll see what Tom, you know, Tom's financial statement will give us the final numbers. Okay. So. So we'll wait for Caroline then to um, bring us, she's going to bring us an empty PO and then the contract proposal. But this is the figures on which we should. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, town warrant. Uh, I guess I'll start with that. So I spoke with the bond council via email anyway on our bond warrants. So our bond warrants, she hasn't reviewed them yet, but they follow the her model. And she had she recommended combining the warrants that are the same purpose, because each one of these is a separate warrant with a separate bond, you know, holes have to be open an hour, blah, blah, blah. And so so what you're seeing is a warrant 
that, if you look at page two, and we'll come back and look at the whole thing, I just wanted to look at the, have you uh, see the bond wants. They have to come before the operating budget. They have to come first, I think, actually. So it's the fire engine, culvert repair or replacement, and then the transfer station has been collapsed. Now, I didn't know what to do with the two town hall things. So one, well, one we're doing now, presumably, right? So that melts away. And the other one was the boiler, which is going to, I asked Mike Davies, a boiler replacement on your energy performance contract proposal. He said, yes. So, so that those two items are gone unless there's a, unless the board sees a problem with that. All right. Um, so that's those are the bond things. I'll, I'll walk you through the rest. Just, but you know, this is still draft. It's for you to look at. I've asked Kate to take a look at Article One, the ballot. Uh, this ballot, the ballot vote for the motor vehicle is highlighted because I'm not sure whether this. It's on a written ballot, or so I'm checking with DRA on that. And it could be that we need to have two ones for this. I, I mush them all in one, but so it, it both establishes the Transportation Improvement Capital Reserve Fund and does the fee. And it may not be politic to put them together. I don't know. I don't know if either. If you had a thought, I mean, I'm going to check with DRA. I, think that, well, I saw your email with DRA. It probably has to be separate. Okay, so we'll we'll see about that. Yeah, it's, it, right, it's highlighted so that we, we know we still have to deal with that. So, so then there's the three bond warrant articles, <coughs> the operating budget. None of these are numbered yet. So they're, and then this should be all of the items that are in our capital and reserve budget sheet. So the road resurfacing, the town hall drainage, uh, town hall security. Now you will see how I wrote that one. It, um, see the town will vote to raise an appropriate 20000 to install security upgrades to town hall, to authorize the select board to apply and accept state and federal grants anticipated for this project, and to authorize the withdrawal of 10000 from the capital reserve fund established for this purpose. So it, it states that we're anticipating, you know, $10,000 worth of grants. And the same is true for the next one, uh, that we're only, it's 70, we're, Appropriating and raising seventy-five thousand, but we're only taking fifty thousand out of the CIP because we believe that the grants will cover the rest. Command uh, vehicle, truck, capital improvement reserve fund. These are all as they have been in the in our budget sheet. Conservation land trust fund, town revaluation. So the town revaluation reserve fund comes first. We put the last seventeen that we asked the town for the last seventeen thousand six twenty-five. And then we uh, asked for this to uh, withdraw all of it to fund the rebound. Land surveys, it's just that standard thing, and then, and then the authority to sell surplus. So we still have to, on the last page, we still have to change the meeting dates. Uh, The other thing that I wanted, I think I highlighted it. Under culvert repair and replacement, it wasn't highlighted on my sheet, but I think I, yeah, page sure. two. So <clears throat> I put down, and to authorize the selectman, I'll change all of that to select board, that was her wording. To authorize the selectman to take any other action or to pass any other vote relative to and to withdraw 50,000 from the culvert repair replacement fund for this purpose. I don't think we have to put that because we have agency. Yeah, on that fund. And we've been spending funds this year. Right, right, right. So uh, again, I will check with the DRA on that and see if we have to put anything. I'll also talk to uh, Renell about that. So please look this over. Uh, see if you know if there's anything that doesn't sound correct. Uh, on the 9th, I'll come back with the, hopefully we'll have all of these things straightened out. And we'll, it's, I will still consider it a draft, I think, until we have to not make it a draft. But we'll, that will be what I'll pass along to the budget committee after sure. Wednesday. Yep. That's the, that's the. Yeah. It's okay. Just going to make sure. <laughs> I'm with on the board. All right. So that's the warrant. Here's, so here's what our, our budget sheet looks like now with the, some of the changes that I just um, 
talk to you. Well, I guess it's just one change. Well, no, more than one. So if you look at row 296, transfer station improvements, it's been combined into one line. Rather, we had like, uh, we had two lines before. Yeah. And you don't want two bond one -one articles for the same, really the same purpose. So, and I think I changed it from 188 to 190 only because I just rounded it up. From 188? 188, yes. Okay. If you don't want me to do that, you just let me know. Uh, and then I withdrew the town hall, the two town hall lines. You know, the, the roof and the border. And so now, if you look at the, the number in the bottom right, 1,025,000, that's the amount that we could like we need to finance. I think it was 1.1 million before, or close to it, now it's, it's out. So that's, again, in, information. Um, should we talk, I could talk to you about uh, financing a little bit also. Um, the U.S. Department of Agriculture provides loans for infrastructure sort of thing. Okay. Is this the first I mentioned this to you? Yes. yes. Okay. So I came across them at the Municipal Association conference. And so we had a couple of just sort of email back and forth. And then uh, the woman from USDA wanted to arrange for a conference call this week between among me and her and her colleague in Vermont. And so that happened Wednesday. Okay. And <clears throat> they, they think that they have uh, loans that are, have better terms than the bond bank. Really? That's what they think. Okay. The, the, you know, there are ways that they, it would have to be three applications, one for the infrastructure, one for the fire engine, one for the transfer station. Um, we would know on two of them before town meeting whether whether we've been approved. Okay. One of them I think is just April. Um, we could probably get a term of 30 years for the infrastructure, whether we want that or not, that remains to be seen. Um, one, the, one thing that I liked about this is that there was no penalty for, re for early payments. So you could, you could pay it off early. I don't think that's the case with the bond bank. So, so, it, so it occurred to me, because um, it occurred to me, I said, well, is it worth considering a 30-year term for the infrastructure? Because that infrastructure is, um, can be amortized across that period. I mean, like 50-year projects. And because there's no penalty for early repayment, mm -hmm. you know, the, the stresses that, you know, if you look at my 10-year planning, the stresses are the first two or three years. Right. So we could start to repay that quicker after that. But, you know, it would be entirely in our hands. So, mm -hmm. so anyway, why don't you think about that for a minute or two? Um, because the, the, the next thing, and we have to apply for them soon. Right. And so, town meeting will still need to authorize. If you look at yes. the, if you look at the warrant, yes, here's, here's what, let's take a look at one of those bond guys. Let's take a look at the first one, fire engine. Yeah. So we're asking to raise an appropriate the entire purchase amount, 450000 450000 of that sum to be raised through the issuance of bonds or notes under and in compliance with the Municipal Finance Act as amended to authorize us to apply for, obtain, and accept federal, state, or other aid of any which may be available for said project. So, so that if we get that fire engine grant, we, you know, we can just apply it to all of that. Uh, and to authorize the selectmen to issue, negotiate, said, sell, and deliver said bonds and notes and determine the rate of interest thereon and the maturity and other terms thereof. And to take, authorize the selectmen to take any other action. So it will pass blah, blah, blah. So what it's, 
what it's giving, so what the town, what we're asking the town for is permission to buy the fire engine and to finance it in the way that we deem the most appropriate or efficient or whatever for the town. Bond requires a supermajority. Does USDA loans require a simple majority? No, I don't think so. I think it's the same. Because I asked them, so I asked them, I said, so do you, I asked USDA, um, do you still need the services of the Bond Council? She says, yes. Okay. She says, and Renee, yeah. she asked me who it was, who our council was. Yeah. I said, Renee, yeah. yeah. she said, she knows our program in it inside and outside. Outside and okay. out. That's not her role. Okay. All right. That's you know, it's, yeah, it's not her role. She's there to tell the people who are loaning us money, right. potentially, right, right, that right. we are, uh, you know, we've done our homework, our warrant articles are in order, you know, we're financially solvent, blah, blah, blah. We, you know, that's her role. Okay. I, did, I wasn't quite clear on that at first myself, but that's her role. Do you have, I mean, are there other questions or thoughts? So, I, I would, we would need to get in this application form, some of them are due like mid-January, we need to get Coyle okay. um, Tanner yeah. to, su to submit a, help us submit a form, which she said, yeah. the public board, she says, is, if they've already done design work and work on it, it's going to be really simple, it's not going to be expensive. For them to do that. Okay. So, so we could ask them to do it. We have money in the culvert yeah. care fund for that. Yeah. If the board wants to proceed along this way, it's like you know we have a number of paths that we can be taking. If we don't want to close any windows, then this is one we have to attend to sooner rather than later. Right. Well, and well, Caroline was also there. At that uh, this is the USDA. What were the terms? Um, I'm sorry to say. In terms of the in infrastructure, so the culvert yeah. could be 30 years, the fire engine will be shorter. Right. So her okay. vehicle could be 10. Sure. Um, and the transfer station, they're not sure, it would probably be some mixture. That one's going to be a tricky one just because of, it's a, uh, it is a bunch of different things. Yeah, he said yes. He, you know, he said he, yes, and he would help me wordsmith it or whoever, you know, wordsmith the application to make it fit. Now we don't need to accept it, right? We're just applying. Yeah. They get if they say yes, you're approved. We say thank you very much, and then we, you know, it doesn't stop us from going out and continuing to to look for other avenues. Right. But he, if we get the ones that are due in January. They already know what the interest rates are, and they're going up in April. He says they're going to be going up every quarter, as far as you can see. So, so we could lock in in January the what he says is two point seven five. So let's just say, for sake of argument, we, we don't get these government back loans. Mm -hmm. We're going to have enough time to hold all the, the, the hearings and everything we need to hold. To, to oh, I see. Long. The hearings are, we still need to hold those hearings. It's for financing. Okay, it's only for the financing. Yeah, so the hearings are for the financing. So we're going to have to hold them whether. So we'll explain to people in that we are trying for these USDA loans. And if they don't, if they don't come through, then they're going to go we, we can tell them we're exploring a number of financing avenues. One of them is USDA. One of them is the New Hampshire Bond Bank, which is the one sort of like our last resort, I guess, right? Because that the application for that is due April, and the funds in, in June, July. Uh, there's, you know, we've got the engagement letter from that financial consultant. I don't know how you feel about that. I I would like to see how some of these other things go before, you know, some of the things we can do what we think we can do on our own, yeah. like the USDA. Um, so, but I would, so, are you okay with my pursuing that path, including it up to having HTA do an application for us and that sort of thing, the USDA? Yeah. <laughs> and there are better terms if we can, if we, there's no challenges of paying up earlier, better than a bond. Do you have a thought? I, I agree with Mike. I just, along 
along with that, um, maybe we should set those dates for hearings now rather than sooner rather than later. Yeah, we're gonna meet, we're gonna meet, we have they have to be between January. Yeah, I've got between January twenty something. Yeah, but I actually, I, had, I put down, I made some of my own of, for the ones that were pertinent. So, public hearing on the bond note issue, we can hold it any time from January 13th to February 27th. But it has to be noticed seven days ahead, including newspaper. January 13th to February 27th. And we need to have, uh, you know, it uh, has to be noticed, including in a newspaper. So the hearing is on a bond or a note, it's on any, it's on financing. Really, you know, we are asking them to give us the ability to finance. Um, so, yeah, we can, do we have the budget? Because there are budget meetings that are scheduled for Saturday. Excuse me. Here. February. Yes. There are two. Uh, January 14th is the school. Mm -hmm. and, oh, yes. February 4th is the SB2. February 11th is public hearing and town budget deliberation. It's in February for everybody, so. What probably we better forget now. Do you want to do it um, January 28th? Do you want to do it February 18th? The only problem with waiting till February 18th is that if there's a snow. Can't you do it 21st? Or does it have to be in Saturday? No. Did I, where, did I not say 21st? Is the 21st of, 21st of January? Yeah, does it have to be Saturday? No, it actually doesn't have to be Saturday. If we're going to have it in the we're going to have it in the school, it depends on whether we think more people come out on Saturday. Was there anything booked on Saturday the 21st? Seven? No. Okay, so so when, what other a time or date were you thinking, Jody? I wasn't sure how many people had attended if we did do like an evening or something. And that might cut into everybody else's. Well, uh, for example, now we're not we're not asking for the same kind of a bond, but when the school was floating the idea of a seven million dollar bond, the American Legion was sort of like built on overflowing, as I recall. Oh yes. <laughs> now I remember. So You know, we don't have to start at nine. We can do it at ten in case you know, or maybe it's better at nine. So we're under nine a.m. on the twenty-first. Nine a.m. Twenty-first of, of January. Are we asking to be at the school? Yeah. Okay. Caroline, do you think you'd be able to arrange this? Um. So it needs to be in the paper. You want me to contact the school? Is that what you're saying? Arrange? Contact the school. school. Put in the notices. Would you mind writing up, because I think if the language is probably very specific about what that notice, or send me something to give me some hints? I will. That would be great. Then yes, I will. Let me, let me write that down. It's a whole lot of stuff. 28th of January? I think there is something on the 28th though. No, there isn't. All right, so, all right, excellent. Then. Winter Congress Monday. All right, so we're talking 21st public hearing.
close to no range. Thank you. Alright. Okay, I don't mean to throw you under the bus or anything, but if we ended up with a snow day, I'll be in Boston that day. Which day? The 28th. Oh, yeah. I will manage it. I threw Mike under the bus once and I wasn't at the public hearing for a bunch of minutes. I had a niece who was getting married. Okay. Good so, you know, it happens. It happens. <laughs> it's our annual dental conference, so don't try to find the dentist back again. All right. <laughs> Thank you for the We're morning. all in Boston. Thank you for the morning. All right. Um, so that's the town warrant. The, so the other thing about bond warrants is that they will need. So you will see me sending an email message to the town clerk. I'm going to respond to Charlie, by the way. I think he sent. Did you get that email? So I'll respond to Charlie, and I'll send this information to the town clerk. We need a separate ballot box for each warrant article, and a separate ballot for each warrant article. We need a ballot box for each bond warrant article, a ballot for each bond warrant article. And then the poll is open for an hour. Now, I don't know what that means, so that's where I'm going to ask Charlie to try to figure that out. It would be nice if we could have those hours be concurrent. Right, so, <laughs> so we'll ask him to check into this moderator list. Place to have four hours of yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sure other towns do this, and so. Um, so we have to have four different I don't, ballot boxes. Three. We're down to three now. Yes. Yes. But you don't want to have four because anyone can ask for a, uh, if you're going to be able to conduct other business while the polls are open. True. Good point. Anyone can call for a, a ballot, a ballot yeah. on uh, any of the other. As you recall, there was someone, folks that wanted on every single warrant article for a while. The last time. All right. So, so I'll, I'll put uh, Charlie and I'll give Charlie and, and Kate notice on these things. And other than that, I'm not sure. So we've got the public hearing scheduled. There's also some things that we'll need, some financial statements. Uh, I've got the checklist, and I will push that along to the folks who need to do things. Like, uh, the town clerk needs to certify some things on our behalf. We need some financial statements. So, and if you haven't seen the checklist, it's online, and I'll, I'll send you the link so you can look at it again. Okay. All right, so, so we're okay with responding, thinking about that financial consult engagement letter. Mailer for town warrant. The budget committee has recommended, not the committee, a, a member of the budget committee has said, well, it might be great for you to hand out a, an email on what's happened, which is a good idea. So I will take a stab at drafting something. Do you want to do what? At the budget meeting, they had a newspaper flyer that the, that the Pro and Barrington puts out. had sent out yeah. of what was coming up oh, nice. and explaining everything. So I really like the idea. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah. Yes, that. yes, thank you for it. So I really like that idea. It's so a great idea. It allows us to so put yeah. forth our, and it's a, it's complicated. Yeah. This is a, it's a you know, there's yeah, it's complicated right. issues. There are important things we're trying to do, but it gives us an opportunity to kind of summarize them. Okay. So I'll take a stab at that. That's all right. Yeah. Okay. If you want to, in, you're talking about setting up a flyer, not just an email. So go to all the rest of it. Right. Fly paper. paper. Yeah. Would you like to hear me say it again? Yeah. You're going to put something on paper. Paper. I'm so excited. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. But wait till you get to this later on in this okay in this meeting when you see why I'm not good with paper. Okay. Um, all right. So I'll work on that. Uh, we we got the treasurer's report. Were, were any comments? Everything seemed good. Mm -hmm. uh, solar energy exemption. Um, I, I, I would like to just take this off the list until we actually get a request from someone. That'd be great. Yeah. Is, are you good with that? All right. Someone was supposed to come see us, but...
energy performance contract, Mike Davey is coming, Mike Davey, Mike Davey is coming the ninth, roughly seven o'clock. And he, there's a little bit of a chicken and egg thing going on between him and, and our legal counsel. You know, Steve wants to see the actual proposal. And he says, well, it's gonna be sort of like this one. Right, and we'll show, so, show so, hard to. Yeah, whatever. I, so maybe he's not done. I don't know. So I'm going to let them figure that out. I mean, I did talk to Steve a little bit on Thursday morning when I saw him for the Fogarty closing. Yeah. And so I laid out the issues to him, which he understands perfectly. He says, there's, there isn't, you know, he talked about the, you know, there will be an on appropriation clause, but there's, then there's the, the, the equipment or something that's already here, and what happens to that? And I said, correct. So, you know, maybe there's a buyout, maybe, you know, yeah. so that allows a board to decide to, to buy out the contract. I don't know if that's sufficient, but anyway, it needs to see it. Of course. So that's where that stands at the moment. Okay. Rec committee, mission statement, is there anything we want to say on this? Um, they haven't created a mission statement yet, but I or, did want to ask the board, now that they did create a, a committee and, um, they're supposed to, they're under town entities. Does the basketball have to notice that they're meeting? Because they posted that they have a meeting um, just on Facebook, but it's not a public notice. So how far do you want to take this? Yeah, so <laughs> technically they're a town entity. They're supposed to post it. They're a subcommittee. By the rules that I sent out to you guys, if all subcommittees are supposed to be public notice. So now that means basketball and family fun day. And well, family fun day is family fun day is not uh, town. They're, they're a five hundred one c three. Oh, that's right. We donate yeah. to them. We donate to them, and, okay. and we, we include them as part of the rec committee only because it's good right. planning wise. But their committees are uh, are their own. Maybe right. they have to make them public as well. But it's not because of us. It, because of the five hundred one c three. Uh, I would say if they're having a business meeting, then yes, it needs to be posted. And that's just a symbol of letting Caroline know and they can put up, we should put up a flyer here and at the post office. Right. In the library could do it. And then if they're just having practice, then that's not a public meeting. Well, no, when the board, when the, yeah. well, their board and their coaches meet, that has to be noticed now. Yeah. Which they don't know yet. So we're still yeah. Yeah. walking through this together. Because I believe yeah. they're having a meeting this week. So I knew there was time to tell them today what we decided. So I mean, that's, you know, that's what we should be encouraging. You know, I know that, you know, I've missed noticing some of the meetings. Yeah. You know, it, it just, things just happen sometimes for some of these things. And they yeah. don't even know yet. They just mm -hmm. are finding out. Yeah, exactly. So, so I didn't know how far you guys wanted to take that. So. Well, I like to be practical and pragmatic. Yes. So that, that's why I go and government don't go together normally. <laughs> so, I didn't want to be cumbersome either. Yeah, exactly. So, but it's not, uh, let's ask the municipal association. We did. I sent you that, that link. Oh, yeah. Did they talk? Subcommittees have to be subcommittees of committees? Yeah. Oh, okay. I haven't read it yet. That's, you're getting up on your plate. Yeah. Slides on my voice. So, yeah. all right. So, so it is just go. as easy as it's, it's not to difficult. Are line. they going to meet here? Do they? Do they plan yeah, I think they're meeting at the school or the library. I okay, but in a public place. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, that's fine. Yeah. yeah, they should just. Okay. I will listen to it. It's simple. Uh, all right, cruiser rebid. We started this mic, I think, before you got here. And Jody is on the case and so will manage that on our behalf. She had a, an objection, including dealing with Chief Ducharme and Jeff about, you know, the car and where it should be until we get it. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I came across, I was you know, processing some emails that I hadn't gotten through this morning, and I saw that an email that you probably haven't even seen yet but it was from SRPC. So the Volkswagen settlement, uh, that's, me, that's a meeting, it's not so. There's a meeting that they're hosting, I think, I don't know where it is, I think it's at SRPC, on January 20th, 
at nine o'clock a.m. I don't. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's a meeting that we really should be at. Well, I read your the email this morning. Yes. The categories of of what would qualify for uh, the sort of the pot of money at the the governor and yes, council from the, accept the settlement. Right. Um, the pot of money, right? But it's very restrictive as to what it could be used for. Oh, I see. It was, so I didn't, it was I didn't like, get down to that like level. It was like for forklifts at at at, at, um, at docks and. Forklifts yeah. <laughs> It's just one of the examples. Oh, okay. It was well, really strange. It's like, well, I don't think like for airports and things like that. It didn't seem like. Well, if there's works. no reason for us to go, then that, that's fine too. I just, you know, I wanted to make that opportunity yeah. available because I mean, and and tell you that I'm not going to be able yeah, to we, go. There it was. Um, it is at their. Um, it is in a their office. Yeah. Their office on Lake Street. High school they built in there. As described in the consent decree, eligible projects under the Environmental Mitigation Trust include Class 8 local freight trucks and port uh, drayage trucks, or whatever drayage truck is, school, shuttle, and transit buses, uh, freight switchers, ferries, tugs, ocean going vessels, <laughs> Class 4 to 7 local freight trucks, airport ground support equipment. Forklifts and port cargo handling. It was not a term I remember. Light duty zero emission vehicle supply equipment and non federal match for diesel emission reduction act projects. It was just someone to do that. So at what first, that last at first glance, it didn't see. Did you read the last one? Non federal match for diesel emission reduction act projects. Okay. Zero projects. Yeah. Which I don't believe we. Uh, well, we, we submitted one this week. I'll we did? We did. Adira? Yes, we did. Okay, well, this could be your non-federal match then. Uh, well, it, well. Potentially. Potentially. Well, I'll, I'll tell you about it when we get. 246 so, other communities? Uh, well, why don't I talk about it now? So, at the last SRPC meeting, there was a woman from DES. Just happened to be there, and she just happened to mention, well, you know, the DERA program yeah. deadline is January, whatever. So if you have a piece of equipment that's more than 20 years old or something, yeah. whatever it is that you're buying, it has a diesel engine, you better uh, replace it. Yeah. We can provide some money for it. Right. So, so Chief Rutherford filled out the application. I think I sent it to you. Fire. But this is for the fire right. truck. Okay. Yes. Now it's um, it had to be on the CIP for 2019 or later, which it was. So. It was. Yes. Right. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I submitted it th this week, um, and okay. we should know something at the maybe the end of January, maybe the end of February. But the, if you notice, if you recall, in the bond bond warrant article, they all say. You can apply federal state grants, so it would just right. reduce what we would have to borrow once we. Right. Once so we can apply for this as well. I'm sure. If it if, if yeah. Yeah. Right. So. Awesome. Right. I still don't think we're going to get any port cargo handling. I'm I'm looking for an ocean liner myself. <laughs> How about a ferry to take us across the Berwick? There we go. <laughs> Between whatever the hydro and fogies or something. Yeah, why could you build a new bridge? Okay. Okay. Um, town hall maintenance steeple shingling. Where did Caroline go? She bring in the. Okay. We can do welfare too while she's here. I think that's what she's saying.
All right. Uh, we'll hold off then until she comes. Oh, okay. oh, she, oh okay. So we thought of putting twenty five thousand? Yes. Because the bid was for just about twenty. Yeah, of course. Just it said that, yeah. you know, warning you to snow and delays. So I'm going to put just as a no contract proposal plus additional five thousand to cover additional equipment rental. Okay. And do you have the is is there a proposal there? Have you seen the proposal? Oh, for the um, Right yes. Yeah, yes. So okay. So you saw you saw the proposal. Oh, there it is. It is there. Okay. So so the proposal is for nineteen thousand nine hundred dollars. It includes the rental of a one hundred twenty foot room with for two weeks. And it says any unforeseen delays, including weather, which may cause equipment rental to exceed the two week rental figure, and this proposal will be an additional charge. All right. So given that. Are we, are we ready? Yes. Do we have to sign this? So you would, I would like a motion, yeah, to both accept the proposal and the and the purchase order. All right. Uh, I make a motion to accept the proposal from NJ Murphy and Son to do steeple shingling for nineteen thousand nine hundred dollars. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Uh, move to accept purchase order 914 to NJ Murphy and Sons for sequel with roof repairs for a total of 25,000 possible um, delays. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Excellent. Sign both. Are you our, our contact, or do you or does Caroline? Uh, uh, he's been contacting me. I've just been forwarding it along. Okay, would like you like to continue? The, they were supposed to, yes. Yeah, so okay. Fine. They were supposed to start the week, and it was delayed because of the weather and the holiday. And so they said they were going to start um, next week, and then went forward it along to Kate and Caroline. I think I go back with you guys. Yes, you did. Thank you. Thank you. Carol, are you ready for well? I now? am. Just give me one minute. Okay, very good. Uh, call Michael. Yeah. I was I, well I wasn't keeping running total number was sufficient not to worry. Just the regular then I'm done with report time, I think this is probably the last well maybe. Um, what, at what point will um, oh, what point will I be able to yeah, say for yeah. you know, the county? Now uh, what's your name? Diane. Like, did I object like, from Southbrook? No, we're from we're here, January, from here. Right but my son played in Southbrook yeah. from the Little League in that. Okay. Then there's the payable. But I'm also holding oh, yeah. 2017 yeah. things in the meanwhile because I can't be right. Oh, I know you know it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, so. so and how you we remember you breaking two buffaloes over your head. Yeah, it uh, probably was me. <laughs> I tell yeah, we will work together. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. And then these uh, murphy and stuff like this. That's um, like a slum boy. <laughs> yes, but if you would um you got to use the place now, there's all sorts of Hmm? Have you been into the golf course? Have you been into the barn yeah. up there? Yeah. You know the Elwood like golf course? Oh, yeah. That's what he owns. <laughs> and that, the restaurant up there, the barn? Have you been into that? That's beautiful. And then he's done on the balance sheet level, he'll open up a video. I didn't he owns So if yeah. you would, <laughs> if you wouldn't mind writing that email to him about what those things are. I already did. Well, I, I, I guess my question to you is, have they changed, given where we are now? Huh? What has what changed? The PO carryovers. Oh, I don't, I don't 
There's no action. Uh, the annual permit, no action. Policies, procedures, uh, no action. So we're down to town administration. So I, there are a bunch of things that I was involved with, and I think we just look at my list here. I think I'm missing it. Bond council. Uh, we talked about a conversation with bond council, and the fact that there will be some homework assignments to various town officials. On your checklist, and I will email you that checklist in case you lost it. USDA, we're going to, I've had phone conversations with them, and we're going to pursue uh, yeah. financing with them. Uh, Fogarty closing was Thursday morning. So I brought mm -hmm. the checks to Caroline. I think she's deposited them. Right. And I, I, you know, I was looking at email from the top down, and I saw an email from Steve that mentioned me showing up at 9 o'clock. And it wasn't until later that I guess she had arranged for me to do it. So I'm yeah. just happy for you to have done it. Yeah. So, so that's done, and I did use the opportunity to, to talk to Steve about the performance contract at the end. Yeah, it's confusing if you have the new operating system on your phone, the way they organize mail now. Well, this is, no, it's through here. Yeah, it's through here. It was, through, it was my, town, phone, my town email, and I was just, I did the first, I was just working. I had so many on the oh, yeah, yeah. So. So that closed, no problem, except we needed our tax ID. We were, no, we were notified about, you know, right. I, I got an email about yeah. an, hour, an hour before. So did you hear how this unrolled? And you heard, okay, so an hour before, I'm at home saying to me the tax ID. So I said, Caroline, are you, are you around? Can you right. give us the tax ID? Because I had no, I had nothing at home that, would, that I could think of that would, sit, mm -hmm. that would have our tax ID. Right. So, so we're at the closing, haven't heard from Caroline, I call, you know, the message, haven't heard from Caroline. You know, she wasn't necessarily scheduled to work, right? right. It was Thursday morning. So then I said, well, let me, let me talk, call Beverly. Maybe she has something at home with her tax ID. So I called Beverly. Mm -hmm. She says, no, no, I don't think so, but I think I know it. <laughs> she rattles it off. There you go. And so, so they used it. And then Caroline did check in a little bit later. I said, well, can we at least confirm? Beverly had a credit. I know. Just letting you know. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> so we were able to close. Uh, the checks are deposited. And I think it's a little bit less than the 45000 because of, you know, the taxes and register, you know, the deep register reporting. How much dollar. was it? Oh. It would be nice to say that, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. It's about 1800 less than the $4,500. Filing for the uh, yeah, various filing as for the tax. Registry. Yeah, the the paperwork is the paperwork's in the office. Uh, all the closing documents. If you yeah. want to look at them, all the closing the whole closing packet is in. I gave to Caroline with the check. Did we still so. at the closing costs with the. With the uh, I signed all the papers that our legal counsel told me to sign. Okay, that's fine. Right? That's the best that I can tell you right okay. now. But I do know that the calculation of the amounts, you know, this one worksheet, and it says what everything is. I think it's mostly taxes and maybe the deed recording, I'm not right. sure exactly what. Um, That's Maine, too, so I've got to be 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it follows their, different, um, their tax years and yeah, fiscal exactly. years and different yeah, yeah. Both, both tax and fiscal year. Yeah. So that happened. The performance contract, I told you, chicken and egg, you know, baby and uh, Roberts are kind of looking through. I actually told you about the DARA grant that Mark yeah. uh, yeah. put up, and so we've got that file with DES and see what happens there. And the other thing is, I may have told some of you individually, I don't know, but Town and City, the Municipal Association magazine, yeah. has been profiling me for their March issue. So I filled out, I filled out, you know, answered some questions, yeah. sent them along, and so um, we'll see what happens there. You're suggesting I should read that month's issue? I'm not suggesting anything, but you know, um, wonderful. just letting you know, thank you. Um, and I think that's sort of it on my part. Anything happening in your respective worlds? We've got a basketball. We got basketball on this week. Um, that's all this this week. Um, recommended as meet on the twenty second. We have okay. okay. Yeah. Next. Um, Yes. Tuesday is uh, planning board. Planning board meeting. Oh, okay. Are there hot issues? There's, there's the you know subdivision rates that you know, spend them to mm -hmm. add on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we're gonna work on um, changes to zoning. Yeah, that they they have real timetables yeah. given. And we'll need them at some point for the, for the warrant if there are going to be some. Do you anticipate that there will be some? Okay. Well, good. That's more manageable. I mean, last year I think there were six. Yeah, we have uh, some building comments we want to do those. Yeah. Actually, why don't we do the abatements first? So, back when on uh, the primary day? Like, Presidential primary day, I think. So back in January, January of this year, um, when we went through and we updated um, uh, the system for the um, taxable inventory, taxable property form, for people that have turned them in and had not turned them in. Yes. We're assisting Andrew with that. Um, two of the properties are owned by the, the, um, Roman, Catholic the Roman Catholic Diocese of Manchester. And I asked her, I said, well, why are we doing this for their tax exempt? She said, oh, we have to. Well, here's the two warrant, the two abatements. We charge them a $10 fee. They're, they're exempt from filing the form. So we have to now fill this form out and uh, exempt them from the $10 fine for not filling out the form. They don't have to fill out the first place. Okay. Yeah. All right, it's going to require all, all three of us. Yep. Okay. So it's all for the their property on Church Street. Um, so yeah. yeah. Four forty church. Yeah. So they have two lots. Yeah. And not, they don't use that for any kind of money making. They don't. No, no, no. I don't think they, they rent the parking, parking spaces. Lots or anything. I was thinking that too, actually. Yeah. The uh, church in Durham just got a exactly. Yes. Uh, Supreme mm -hmm. Court case. Yeah. yeah. I don't believe so, but maybe we should find out. If they do, then parking lot is taxable. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first building permit is 2016 177 649 Main Street. This will be the building to our left. Uh, gentleman is doing a complete rehab, kitchens, baths, sheetrock, trim, electrical, plumbing. Um, this permit includes the electrical and the plumbing fees. Mr. Um, Clark has reviewed, and just so everyone is aware, Three of the conditions uh, for the renovations that Tom has uh, made them aware of that there needs to be an approved fire suppression um, constructed between the dwelling units. Um, there's a multi, mm -hmm. obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, approved uh, means of egress must be installed, and uh, installation values must be in compliance with New Hampshire Energy Code regulations. Three very good reasons why we have Mr. Clark. And so, Sure. Total um, estimated value of construction that Tom has confirmed is about two hundred thousand dollars, and the fee is two thousand and twenty-five dollars. 
Well, then we decided to oh, yeah. And then we decided to. I'll sign it on the way. That way I get it back. Uh, the next is uh, 2016 179, 46 Old Mill Lane. Um, they are putting in a high efficiency gas heating system for $20,000. Uh, Mr. Clark has reviewed the fee is $225. And he's got to contact them once it's been installed. So we're going to uh, the next is 2016-180, uh, 50 General John Sullivan Way. Uh, they are installing a generator uh, for $6,400. Fee is $95. Mr. Clark has also reviewed and has asked to be informed once it's installed so we can come back and review it again. And that, my friends, at the end of 2016 building season. They, actually, these amounts will, will be probably deposited with the 2017. Well, we'll like that. Yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank you. Is this folder done? This folder's done, yes. Yeah, So it's being dealt with today, so I guess it's just going to be towed. Good, good question. We did, uh, I think somebody did contact the owner or car, but not the owner of the car. Are we talking about the car on South, South Street or yes. the, the cruiser that's the here? No, we're Street. talking about the truck on South Street. I gotcha. okay. So we did, I think, well, I know we tried to, we couldn't contact the owner of the car, but we did, uh, I believe, contact the owner of the car. And we never got any response? I don't know that. Mm -hmm. I just know it's being handled okay. today. The police are taking care of it? Yes. Perfect. All right. All right. Steeple of Roof have already paid. Um, a certified public accountant in Portland, Maine. We'd like to offer their services for our audits. Um, I'll take a look at that if you don't mind. I think that's a good phone call. Yeah, absolutely. CASA would like to thank us for their five hundred for that for our five hundred dollar gift. Okay, very good. And NRRA has a invoice for their voting dues for $176.89 with attached flyer and all the good that they've done this year in recycling. So we normally, do we normally, um, yes, we're a member of them. Yeah. yeah. And that's how Can we, we hold that for next, for next, let me see that. Yeah. So we're, we're a member, and that's yeah. how we got our free sign this year. Only dues. Okay. So the grant for the. Computers. So do you want? I can just sign this, but for 2017, because it's the voting dues are for April 1st, 2017. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you want me to get the folder? Uh, I I think we'll. Um, we no, we don't need a purchase yeah. order. Um, uh, I'll just look for 2017. Do we still have that folder that Caroline had? Uh, with the with, yeah, with invoices. Uh, I'll put it in later. Okay. She'll put it in for a 2017 payment. Okay. You know, Jody, as long as your uh, that's come up. So, with regard to like, you know, the grants that we are uh, eligible for, would they would they help us with the compactor? No. Okay, would they help us with the canister for the compactor? No, because it's not recycling. Would they help us though with our third recycling demolition thing? Yes. Okay, so yes. as long as it has a uh, general demo, no. We have to give it a specific reason why we're using that can. All right. Like one of the cans would be for I see holding the refrigerators or holding shingles or holding something we're going to separate out. Yeah. 
All right. Well, could you give it some thought? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're, there's, there's, there's no particular rush. Uh, you know, right now it's in the bond. It's part of the transfer station. Blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. And it says that we can accept grants. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, if you could think about a case for that third demo can. Yep. To get something back, that would be. And that's what we have to work with, with uh, Jack and the transportation guys on too. What else can we separate down? Right. To yeah, and it may or may not work, but that's. And they still have a nice vision of where they want these cans at the transfer station. Oh, good. Anyway, so. Super. Super. So I'm gonna keep that. Yep. All right. Uh, Unitil. Mm. Oh, we do have gas lines in Romansburg. So. We do? Yes. We have a lot of pilot now. I have gas. My neighbors have gas. Oh. Uh, gas, so that maybe doesn't go as far as you, but it may to go Alexander's. to Alexander's. I think yeah. there are utilities, the yeah. waters it goes to Alexander's. The but there isn't there isn't gas, by. there aren't gas lines no, here. No, no. These are on the periphery close to Dover. Yeah. Yeah. So do they need us to do anything? No, this is just the emergency responders and elected um, for municipalities, the username and password for their municipality website. Are you giving us a username and password? It's, I think it's for everybody. Oh, I see. Oh. All right, so we'll just buy so. them. And um, speaking of underground, um, we do have water lines going up Highland Ave. So Dover had a water leak this week and on Highland Ave. And my brother called me thinking it was my house, and it wasn't my house. Um, so I'm like, oh, totally forgot. So when we do Highland Ave, um, and any of those, we've got to make sure that we don't have water lines on Berwick, or did Ross get water lines? Ross Road get water lines? No, but so what, what, so what is it that we're, um, what do we have to pay attention to, I guess, like, what do we? If they're going to let Dover know that when that road comes up for paving, a couple of years in advance, oh, so they can plan if they want uh, to use the water I lines. see, I see, yep, yep. Uh, they did have a water, water All right, let me, Berwick Street does have one. Do they have water? It didn't even dawn on me, because I know mine comes right under Oak, but I totally forgot about the upper part of Highland. So we'll, we'll note that in the 10-year road plan, so, yeah. okay, so. So while I'm thinking of it. So cool. Berwick Street has water. And Highland, Dover, and it's Dover water in Dover both cases. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. We don't care about some. We don't care about Rollins, but Rollins is state. Right. Okay. But so Berwick is the only. Well, it's Dover water. Yes. Dover water goes up to. Do you have Dover water? Yes, we do. Yeah. It goes but up I mean, to the greenhouse, I believe. I think it goes oh, to the greenhouse because of the greenhouse. That would make sense. But we don't have to worry about. I mean, Rollins Road, the state would take care of that. When it's okay, yes. Yeah. So, but Berwick is, we, we need to take care of it. Okay, perfect, thank you. Didn't know until my brother called and asked if I was having oh, water problems. Good. Um, Health Trust Info, uh, their um, audited financial statement is available online. Okay, thank you. Uh, this we saw last week. This is the approval from the Department of Environmental Services for the subdivision on Clement. This was just that their yeah, application be filed. So you wrote this. Is this to Steve, or is this Steve the selectman? Is this his writing? Yeah. Okay, that's what you're writing. Okay. So this is from it's Pittsburgh. Way up there. <laughs> this is from the selectman of Pittsburgh, New Hampshire. I'm writing on behalf of the boards of the selectman in Pittsburgh, Clarksville, and Stewartstown to share with your concern we have about the legal control of municipal roads and how to establish principle of home rule applies to the continued ability of municipalities to retain control over the municipal roads. I also write to ask you to consider writing a letter to defend the principle of home rule as it relates to municipal roads. It goes on about the northern pass, so this is because of the northern pass. So, um, I was reading it earlier. Apparently, the Northern Pass people have never formally or informally asked the town's permission to use roads for their project. So, well, would, would either of you like to read it? Yeah, I'll read it. Yeah. 
Do you mind if Michael just takes over? Right the, um, there you go. The issue with the site review on the state site review committee. Yeah. So, so they wrote, it's not like they wrote a formal letter to. Town of Rollinsburg from Sticker. Federal Energy Regulatory Commission. Oh, is that our hydro license stuff? Looks like a flyer. Oh, yeah, it looks like a form, really. Maybe just a manual statement. Yeah. I will hand this directly to you. Okay. So if you get it. Oh, it's an errata notice, so they must have published something and they're correcting. My, they're not making minor corrections. Yeah, okay, just, we can just file this. from the Department of Safety, the Division of Fire Safety from the State Fire Marshal um, in accordance with RSA 160-C colon I-01. All right. I know that one well. Yeah, right? <laughs> Any municipality in the state by action of its local legislative body or local governing body may vote to allow or permit within the municipality the issuance of permits or licensing to sell permissible fireworks or the display or possession of permissible fireworks. So we can allow, as far as the state division of fire blah 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 is concerned, we can allow right. people to sell fireworks. Right. Is that what that's saying? Okay. And if you remember right, when even though they got a permit for our fireworks for Family Fun Day, they didn't get the state permit or something? Oh yeah, that's yeah. true, yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that's so yeah, point. we'll, we'll just, send this we'll off to that. Well, they're not selling it, though. I no. think, isn't this just, um, just an FYI? Yeah. We got a Christmas card from the people. Every year, I want to see. All right, sorry, Joey. Go ahead. <laughs> That's OK. We got a Christmas card from the people that we used to auction off that house on Portland Ave a couple years ago. OK. And nothing else. All right. That's it. So this actually, this is this is very interesting, not that I don't see any ones that I've already had, but um, in the legislature in the last, the last session, the session before last, uh, precluded the Northern Pass project from being able to access the concept of uh, eminent domain um, as, a, as a means to try to stop the Northern Pass project. Um, and obviously, it has not been successful, but um, they're arguing that um, when, when, the, when the legislature changed the law, they changed RSA 231 colon 167, provides that if a landowner has suffered damage as a result of the installation, the landowner must apply to the selectmen to assess damages in the same manner as laying out a new road. In other words, the town would be liable for taking the response of, and responsible for paying the damage assessed, not the Northern Pass project. So in this case, I mean, this is just Eversource in the northern part of the state middle part of the state it wouldn't actually affect us in this case, but in other cases it could. So now it makes a lot more sense why Pittsburgh would be contacting well Pittsburgh or any other towns. So yeah, I'm sure they decide to all the yeah. time. Well do you want to read it and make yeah, a yeah, recommendation yeah. Well, next week? Yeah. Yeah. Next time we meet? All right. Uh, I don't think there's any other business, so community any community input. We were talking in the hallway before. Do you have an update on the bed bug situation? We keep asking, and we have unless unless one of us has heard independently from our health officer. No, I don't. I'll send another. I'll send another email, okay. or ask him. Maybe I'll also ask Caroline to try to contact him. I was going to say, did, ask, did he reach out to Caroline at all? Because that's been a couple I don't weeks know. since the last Caroline time. Caroline we, still here? And I think I saw her walk by. Oh right, she did. She we um, yeah we emailed him two, at least two weeks ago, right? And yeah, not the first time. Just forgot. Yeah. So uh, we don't know. The board yeah, doesn't know. yeah, no, it's a good Happy question. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Anything else? Well, then I will conclude this meeting and wish everybody a Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Happy New Year everybody. New Year.